Very impressive. Well, we go from one big four to another. Four guys joining me on stage now who certainly know their football. Larry Bluestein, the high school guru in South Florida. Former Miami Dolphins, Joe Rose and Kim Bocamper and sandwiched in between them, CBS4 sportscaster Mike Cuno. So, Larry, let's start with you. Don Chaney Jr. strikes me as a very determined young man. Yeah, different level kid. Five-year starter in high school. Started at the eighth grade. Um, just as a kid, it's just uh, an intelligent kid. Um, coach's son. Um, somebody who was, even when he wasn't playing and he was hurt, he was always out there, Jim, helping. Um, just just uh, one of those kids that uh, goes year-round. Two-time uh, state high jump champion, reached seven feet last year. Wow. Uh, an amazing athlete, an amazing student athlete, a uh, perfect candidate. And I saw his dad. His dad's a big dude, so when yes. dad speaks, I'm sure he listens. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, Henry Parrish, man, his stats just leap off the page. And the funny thing is, everybody knows he's getting the ball, but he still makes big plays. You know, it's amazing. Every Friday night, whether you go to a Columbus game or you're sitting at home for the highlights, <laughs> you're going to see Henry go 70 or 80 yards, it seems like, every night. Uh, there's one reason Columbus, after kind of a slow start there in the middle part of the season, got together. They're going to be playing for a state championship, and it's because of that guy right there. Unbelievable. All right, Mike Cuno, uh, my colleague at CBS4, I really enjoyed your story with Isaiah Walker. You were very brave because he could have pancaked you, but he didn't. He should have pancaked. I don't know why he took it easy. You, you heard in one of his introductions, he wanted to dominate his opponent every time. I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of that, so I pity whoever he's going to go up against. But yeah, at, at 6'4", 300 pounds, I can tell you, this guy is just all muscle already. The, ce the ceiling's very high for this young man. Very, very good kid. Very impressive, because I thought I heard him say that in ninth grade, he couldn't even do a push-up, and look at him now. Yeah. Can't do a push-up now. He's only giving up, like, what, one or two sacks all season? So that's pretty great. <laughs> all right. Kim, I know you're partial to the defensive side of the football, and Derek Wingo from St. Thomas yep. Aquinas has really been a star. He seems to have the total package. Well, he is. He's the epitome of a student athlete to get started. He's a smart kid. Uh, he's a guy that does community work, but as a football player, you know, his super skill is rushing the passers. You can see 14 sacks this season, but he's equally adept at playing linebacker. He can go out there. He can cover tight ends. They'll even put him out on the slot and cover people. He's the, he's, the, he's the Gatorade, Florida Gatorade Player of the Year. He's the Miami Dolphins Player of the year. The funny thing, his upside though is not today. His upside's tomorrow. There's a lot more coming for Derek Wingo. Wow. Well, guys, well said. And uh, young men, I hope you realize that this means that people are always watching you. These guys have been watching you perform. Congratulations to you and thank you guys for putting their accomplishments in perspective. Well, coming up, the moment we have all been waiting for, we're going to announce the winner of the very first CBS4 Nat Moore Trophy. <laughs> 